this is day eight of vlogmas uh, today is hair day so i have been doing a deep conditioning treatment on my hair which means that i put on some uh, deep conditioner and i put my hair under a hooded dryer for about 15 minutes and so it's absorbed all of those lovely nutrients that it needs to be nice and strong and i'm just going to wash it off it's going to be a fantastic day got more homeschooling um today so i have to see right here we go it's all done now it's very nice and soft it's like it's had a lovely drink so i try to do my hair once a week uh, wash it and do a deep conditioning on it it kind of feels nice to look after my hair. There was a point there where I just wasn't bothered with my hair and I wasn't doing anything with it. Um, but I have been doing a good job of looking after it this year and it feels good. So feels the next really nice. step is to put in a leave-in conditioner and that's going to add more moisture to it. And then I will seal it using my homemade shea butter, a uh, whipped shea butter that I make myself and i'll put a link in the description box so i shared the recipe over on house of healer but this is really really good stuff and you can use it on all types of hair and my husband uses it on his hair as well so it's pretty awesome <laughs> So that's my hair done got my face on and i'm ready to tackle the day uh, one thing that i want to do today is actually set up we got a trail cam and that's basically so that we can watch the birds and capture the wildlife because we we've got three bird feeding stations and it's been amazing one of the good things that came out of the initial lockdown for us was that we really got into bird watching and we started counting the different types of species that were coming on to our onto our house so we'd always had one bird feeder but now we've got uh, three bird feeding stations because it was just really wonderful having nature within our garden like that. We started counting the different species of bird and at last count we were on 19 different species of birds that we have. And we have a regular woodpecker. Um, so we get the greater spotted and the lesser spotted woodpecker and it's been really wonderful and as a family now we can identify those 19 species of birds so we thought it would be really lovely to actually capture them up close um, so got this uh, trail cam and it's supposed to be really good at least according to the reviews on Amazon uh, so I'm going to set this up today and hopefully we'll have some footage of some of the birds that are coming to feed currently we tend to have a lot of uh, blue tits uh, house sparrows and tree sparrows and great tits and some cold tits as well oh apparently there's something on the feeder right now hang on see if we can
see that's a cold tit. That was really wonderful actually. So that was a cold tit that came onto the feed just as I was talking about that. And so the idea with this is that it's weatherproof and we're supposed to be able to strap it onto the tree and we can get some better quality images of the birds themselves. Uh, so really exciting. Oh, <laughs> my tripod nearly fell over there. <laughs> okay, uh, dinner today is just mac and cheese with some vegetables and yeah, and the kids will make some mince pies. So quite low key, not very highly involved in terms of the cooking because I can whip up a mac and cheese within 30 minutes uh, now. And which also means that it's a lot easier cleanup. I'm wearing Bird um, 9 2012, and that's the pattern that I was talking about in my Bird uh, 1220 sewing plans. And I make so many Bird videos, sometimes I get confused. But um, let's see, I'm wearing a scarf here. <laughs> but I'll show you, it's got the boat neckline. This is my thermal. My other black thermal is in the wash. I, I prefer the one that goes all the way up here, but it's in the wash. So I'm using this gray one here, which kind of ruins the neckline, which is why I'm wearing <laughs> the scarf to cover over the fact that I've ruined the neckline for this, but it works. It's Christmassy, <laughs> kind of. Okay, uh, back to some mats now with the kitties and hopefully we'll do some history and we will set this up i also got some posts today i'm not gonna go into it because it's a really long story but i ordered this uh walk away dress pattern long story i might do a video about it but i was really gutted i was really looking forward to getting this and I was going to go to Fabrics for All to shop for a fabric specifically to make this with the trims. And I wanted to do a contrasting one. But it's been so long since I've bought a sewing pattern on eBay that I forgot a critical thing, which was to look at the picture and check what the size is. So the description said A in brackets. And I think the A is the one for my size but this one is the ff which is the larger size so i quickly went back to check on ebay because i was like i got duped i got duped but on the picture it shows the size and really caveat emptor i should have been aware and actually checked uh, the image itself uh, yes yeah, so uh, that's going to uh, go to a charity shop whilst i look for another one in my size but um yeah 2021 i'm probably going to be making something like this but moral of the story being that when you're buying sewing patterns on ebay don't be like me actually look at the picture and see if the sizes in the picture are the right one but hey no harm done i've learned my lesson going forward i just need to be more careful <laughs> It's lunchtime. It's raining outside. Really cold. Really, really cold. But I'm uh, going to set this up by one of the bird feeders and uh, we'll see if this is going to work. Abby is using his lunch hour to continue work on the new garden wall. So we're putting up a garden wall here. Very impromptu, very brief tour. So he's been doing it little by little. Right, let's do this. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be to put up, but I've strapped it on. I've kind of done some MacGyvering to strap it on. So hopefully 
it's recording this one this is where the woodpecker really likes to go so I'm hoping that we can catch it and I think I've turned it on oh man I have to check right I've turned it on there was a red light flashing and now it's working so good luck camera I am so excited we've got some bird watching binoculars and they're okay but um, it will be really nice to be able to capture the images but yeah here's hoping that we'll uh, get some lovely images of the birdies right lunchtime now lunchtime This is usually the spot by the window where we sit to watch the birds. And we have these uh, bird watching binoculars, which are very sturdy because they have survived years of young children playing around with them, pretending to be spies. And we also have this book, the RSPB Handbook of British Birds, and this has been invaluable. So we've been learning the Latin names uh, for the birds, like a magpie is pica pica. And my personal favorite is a wobbler that's a turdus turdus. It's an actual Latin name. Of course, the kids absolutely love that. And uh, we actually have this variety of bird here that's on the cover. And the first time we saw it, it was amazing um so yeah so normally this is what we use to help us to identify the birds and then we confirm it by going online to see actual footage um, of some birds we've tried recording with the phone but it doesn't do really really well so yeah just gonna sit here and uh hope that something's gonna rock up but we need to focus I need it done. Okay, so we've been watching the bird feeder for the last hour or so, and not a single bird has come over there. It's almost as if they know that we're spying on them. And I just realized that I was doing uh, something that my mother always warned me against. She was always like, a washed kettle never boils. And I just realized that I was watching the kettle. So I'm gonna have to stop watching the kettle, get on with things and hope that when we check in on the camera in a couple of hours, we will have caught some footage. this put the SD memory card in and it turns out that the batteries my husband gave me were nearly dead because this will record video until the battery is running low then it will just start taking pictures and it just took some pictures and we do have some pictures of some blue tits on the bird feeder so I think it's not too bad for a first go so I just have to make sure that tomorrow when I put it back um, I make sure that we've got some fully loaded batteries. But yeah, exciting times ahead for us. <laughs> <laughs> 